in finals, but there's a lot more from this position than just go on and win. And uh, the way that Mark played this afternoon, his form would have to dip, I think, for that. To turn around, or... Judd, of course, would have to start knocking in balls like that all evening. He's playing here. Cue ball has got to guide around away from the other Reds if he plays it. Oh, he's done that. Played it so well that the cue ball went exactly where he wanted it to had he missed the Red. To pop that and avoid all traffic was a work of art. This is where it is. They're incredibly dangerous. And the fact that he can knock these in. If he's got no easy safety shot, he's got the ability to just pot his way out of trouble there. Steering the cue ball back to the bulk end. Yes. Beautifully struck that one. It really was with the top spin to take him up the table. But the accuracy he's still got with the speed and, like I say, hitting top of the cue ball. Well, what a chance this is to get this match done. And as you said earlier, you know, if he could get a win of this magnitude in a big fun like this, it would kind of set out a, a warning to the other players that he absolutely is back to the kind of form which we saw him in in the first half of last season. It mean a lot because Mark Allen came in for quite a lot of criticism for how he'd slowed his game down, at times probably to his detriment, but he's got the balance right now, that's for sure. This is it. In goes the pink. Mark Allen in the pink himself. Sixty nine. It's been a dominant display. How fitting it would be if Allen could possibly finish off 75. with a century. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. That was a minor consideration. The major job has been done. And a major tournament has been won. Last season, he won three big events. But I get the impression, given who he's beaten today and how handily he's beaten Jeff Trump, this might be one of the sweetest victories of all.